Soul singer Sam Cooke said in his song, A Change Is Gonna Come. Oh, when I go to my brother, I'd say, brother, help me please. But he winds up knocking me back down on my knees. There have been times when I thought I wouldn't last for long. Now I think I'm able to carry on. It's been a long, long time coming, but I know a change is gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Our world is changing as brutality, abuse of power, and systemic racism are revealed. The eruption that we are seeing in the media is nothing new. From the Civil War to the burning of Tulsa to Selma to the Watts riots, we have been here before. At times, before there has been significant change, there has been bloodshed and loss of life. That too often is the cost of admission into change. Why do you ask? Dr. King expressed it so eloquently when discussing the 1965 Watts riots. He said, I think America must see that riots do not develop out of thin air. Certain conditions continue to exist in our society, which must be condemned as vigorously as we condemn riots. But in the final analysis, a riot is the language of the unheard. And what is that America has failed to hear? It has failed to hear that the plight of the Negro poor has worsened over the last few years. It has failed to hear that the promises of freedom and justice have not been met and has failed to hear that large segments of white society are more concerned about tranquility and the status quo than about justice, equality, and humanity. And so, in a real sense, our nation's summers of riots are caused by our nation's winters of delay. And as long as America postpones justice, we stand in the position of having these reoccurrences of violence and riots over and over again. Social justice and progress are the absolute guarantors of riot prevention. These words are as relevant today as they were 55 years ago. We all share the burden of bringing about change in our nation, in our communities, in our organizations, and in our places of worship. We have the power and the responsibility to combat racial isolation, poverty, implicit bias, and not to mention fighting against the militarization and qualified immunity of police. We must each accept the privilege that we have, be it in the form of wealth, gender, or whiteness, and use that privilege to help those in need or those suffering under the knee of oppression. We must speak out against injustice, sexism, racism, homophobia, and discrimination in its many forms. We must reject stereotypes, push against bias, and judge people for who they are, not for who we think they should be. We must understand that a request for equality does not diminish your freedom. Justice is not pie. There is enough for everyone. At the end of the day, people want the ability to live into the American dream, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Life, we want to be safe in our community. Liberty, we want to have access to systems, knowledge, and services that sustain life. Pursuit of happiness. We want to be able to succeed and fail on our own merit. My question for you, my brother, my sister, is what will you do to bring about the long time coming needed change in this country?